Hello and welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In this video, let me show you how you can use VLOOKUP to look up multiple matching results. Now, we all know that VLOOKUP can be used when you're trying to search for a value within a particular data set and return its corresponding values. So in this case, if I wanted to search petrol link supplies, I could do VLOOKUP and I could find its related um, corresponding values. But what if we have multiple results that we want to return back? So in my case over here, I have a column that says product and service. And many companies, many suppliers are giving the same product and services. So if I wanted to do a VLOOKUP on oil field chemicals, I would probably get the first instance, which is this one over here. But there are many other companies that are also selling oil field chemicals. So how can I VLOOKUP oil field chemicals? and return all of the data corresponding to this particular product or service. In this case, we're gonna be using multiple matching VLOOKUP. So this is going to be a couple step video and I'm gonna show you step by step how you can achieve this within a couple minutes. So basically, you can create this drop down menu from which you can select whatever you want. So in my case, I can select whichever product and service I'm looking for. So for example, if I'm looking for, as I said, oil field chemicals, I can select that and it's going to return all of the suppliers within my table here um, which um, give this product or service and it also returns the corresponding spend. So basically it takes oil field chemicals and searches it over here. So let me show you and let me give you a demonstration of how I achieved this. Step one will be to create a helper column, okay? This is going to be because we're going to have multiple duplicates. So oil field chemicals, as you can see, occurs many times in many rows here, here, um, here, here, and then it keeps occurring. So just to simplify things and make things unique, we need a helper column. So I'm going to go on to the leftmost column and I'm going to insert a helper column, okay? So let's just call it helper, okay? And we're going to make each of these oil field chemicals uh, text values unique. So in order to do that, we're going to do equals to this and sign. And then after that, I'm going to um, add a period. You can add a space, whatever you'd like, underscore. I'm going to add a period. Um, and then after that, the and function once again, followed by count if. Okay, open bracket. And we're going to select this cell once again. Um, call in the cell once again and the first instance is going to be locked with the F4 key um, comma we're gonna select the cell once again close bracket and enter okay and we're gonna drag this down for all of the remaining cells now if we auto fit column one you can see that now whenever oil fields chemical occurs it gives a one after it okay so the next instance of oil field oil field chemicals gets a two and the third instance gets a dot three at the end. So now we've made all of these values unique, okay? The next step we're going to do is we're going to set up a unique list of all of these um, products and services so that we can create a dropdown menu from which you can search them up, okay? So I'm gonna go into this far column because I can hide it later on, and I'm gonna go equals to unique, open bracket, and I'm gonna select this range over here enter okay and so as you can see these are all the unique products and services we have four of them okay um, now it's time that we can set up data validation okay so i'll come over here and i'm going to write a quick prompt for my user so i'm going to write um, select product slash service okay and i'm going to Add a small arrow beside it as well. So I'll go into insert, into illustrations, shapes, and I'll add a small arrow right over here, just so people know they need to search over here. Now this is the cell in which we're going to be inserting data validation. So we're gonna go on the cell into data, into data validation, into list, source is going to be right over here these unique values and we'll press okay now we're going to make this a little bit longer and now anyone can search any of these values right from the list 
Now it's time to take, take things um, a step further, okay? So now we're going to set up a count if function, which is going to determine how many instances of this value occur in our table here. So for example, if I were to select drilling equipment, it's going to tell me all of the instances in which drilling equipment um, comes in, okay? So I actually do this in column K, so we can hide this column later on as well. Equals to count if the range which is going to be right over here. So control shift down, comma. The criteria is gonna be that it has to equal to this drilling equipment, what we're looking for, enter. So that means, so we get a six, which means that six times um, we have drilling equipment in this table, okay? So now if I were to search up, for example, over here, um, environmental services, it gives me eight. That means we have eight environmental services being offered um, in our table here. So now that we've done this, the next step will be to set up a number column, okay? So I'll come over here and I'll just write NO, enter. And this column is also gonna be hidden by the way, so you don't have to worry about it being shown in the final data set. I'm gonna write one and the next sequence is gonna be as many rows as are required to return all of the environmental services. Um, columns. Okay, so in this case, we have eight rows of environmental services data. So I want eight over here. Okay, in order to do that, we'll use the if function open bracket. Um, if this is greater than or equal to this value here, then keep it blank. Otherwise, return this plus one. And also make sure that you lock it. So we're going to lock cell K2 in our case, F4. Lock this cell right over here because this is the number cell. And we're just going to drag it down like so, all the way down. And as you can see, we get eight rows, okay? So now if I were to select um, transport solutions, we have seven rows of data in our table over here. So we get seven rows uh, preloaded okay and we're going to need this so that we can fetch the data that we're looking for okay so now we can se select our supplier product service and um, 2023 spend okay and we can return all that information about uh, transport solutions as well so we're going to go over here we're going to write down our um, headers so supplier and then after that product or service and then after that, spend, okay? So that means this column over here is gonna fetch this information, this column will fetch this information, and this column will fetch this information. We are finally ready to use the lookup, okay? So we're gonna go equals to the lookup, and we are looking for a unique value, right? We're looking for the values in our helper columns. So we're gonna look for this, followed by in and sign, followed by in brackets, the period, followed by another and, followed by the number, okay? So that's gonna give us transferred solutions dot one, okay? So it's gonna give us this, and then as we drag it down, it's gonna give us dot two, dot three, and so on and so forth, okay? Um, once we've done that, we are going to go comma, and we're gonna select our table array, so the table array is going to be everything, including the helper columns, okay? So we will select our entire table for this. Um, we can exclude the headers because there's nothing we want to return from the headers. And make sure you lock all of this as well. Add another comma. And after that, for the column index number, we're going to use the columns function. Why do we use the columns function? Because we want to be able to drag this formula down and return the corresponding product and service and also return the corresponding spend. And we want to do this without having to um, replicate the VLOOKUP formula over here and over here. We want to do one VLOOKUP formula, drag it down everywhere. So equals to columns with an S at the end. Open bracket. Our array will be right over here these two cells and then it'll keep shifting as we go okay um, after that we are going to lock in the first a1 over here and over here the lookup value f6 which is our number for this we're going to lock press f4 three times to lock the column as well okay 
Um, once we've done that, we are going to close our brackets, add a comma, and it's going to be zero because we want an exact match. And then we can go ahead and close the bracket once again. And we can press enter. Okay, now we get the supplier, we get all the information we need. So now we can drag this down horizontally and we will also drag it down vertically. But there's an issue still. We get all of these errors. So we have to drag it all the way down here and we're going to get a whole bunch of these errors. So we want to add a function which will allow us to skip the errors, right? If there's an error, return blank. So in order to do that, we'll control Z what we did. We'll come back to our home cell over here and we'll wrap um, the VLOOKUP formula um, using the if error formula. Okay, so if error, open bracket, and then comma, if error, our formula, if there's an error, then return blank, and we'll press enter again, drag it down horizontally, and then once again, drag it all the way down vertically as well. And now we have everything we need. Now, one more thing we could do is we could take the spend column and we could convert it to dollar format, okay? Just to make things a bit more simple. Once we've done that, now we have everything already. So now I can search up whatever I want. I can search up environmental services and I get all of the suppliers that are offering environmental services as well as their spend to date, okay? Using this mother table over here. Now. One more thing we could do is we could remove, or not remove, but rather hide all of the columns that we don't need. So left click, hide, and now we have all of our data ready to go. And that is how to use VLOOKUP to return multiple matches using a couple simple formulas and functions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe below. Until then, I'll see you very soon on the next video.